hello and welcome to another video on prompt builder in today's video i wanted to talk about different prompt template types and the use cases examples when to use them we're going to focus on three key template types field generation sales email and flex template type especially if you're preparing for ai specialist exam i highly recommend reading about prompt builder different template types when to use which template and just getting some hands-on because there will be a lot of questions on prompt builder in the exam regardless of agent force co-pilot prompt builder is really important if you want to understand uh, the platform okay with that being said let's jump right into it so as you come to your setup and type prompt you will see all these various prompt template types that is already there in your org um, you may have different than this one but these are pretty much the baseline prompts and what Salesforce recommends is as you start to create templates, you can use what's already there and save as a new template type. So let's say I wanted to create a sales email template. Instead of creating everything from scratch, what I would do is save as and create a new template so that you can at least use some of the basic structure here. There are some guidelines and how you want to write your prompt just like if you want good results from chat gpt you want it to give it good instructions so for example you want to start with a persona here i'm saying you are a sales executive and your name is so and so and your customer is so and so and so on and then you're asking when i ask you to do this do this strictly follow my instruction because there is a tendency with llm to start to elaborate on what they are doing instead of the actual result so for the LLM to not describe the process in how it is coming up with what it is coming up with. You just wanted to make sure you're just saying like, okay, just strictly do this. And then you can define the tone. You can give it all the parameters and then ask it to do certain things. Anyway, so if you want to follow this template and don't want to go too crazy with this, start with something existing. You can either copy paste from an existing template or save it as a new template. Okay, let's go back to our prompt builder. And then here you'll see different types of prompt template types. And then I'm going to quickly cover the key ones and when to use them. Then we're going to create some examples. So new prompt template type, uh, we've got field generation. So field generation is used if you wanted to summarize the record information or maybe related records into a field. So the fact that it's called field generation means you want to generate the text into a field and save it into a field. So if you wanted to summarize opportunities, cases, all the things about the account, you can create a field on the account. So first thing you need to have a text field on the object and then you need to select the object here and create the prompt. And then once you have the prompt, we'll see that process. You can add it on the page and then your users can generate the generation and save it then we have sales email i also have service email here um, as the name suggests sales email meaning you can allow your sales rep maybe to create quickly create emails and send to your customers and make it sound casual formal however you want and all of that can be instructed in the prompt and so it really saves a lot of time from the sales rep to type that email themselves. They can, of course, edit it as they see fit and send the email out. So it makes it really personable and very fast and saves a lot of time. So that's sales email. And then if none of those requirements meet your need, then we also have flex. And we're going to talk about flex as well. So flex, I think, means flexible, I'm guessing. Um, so, and the Salesforce help document says if none of those other templates meet your need, then you can use Flex uh, to take a step further. And your scenario doesn't need it to have being saved on a field or it's not an email, then it's probably a Flex. So let's start with the field generation template. I'm going to new prompt template, field generation, and I'm going to say graph count description i'm going to choose my object as account field let's use description and hit next and this is where you can add your company name if by going to resource and current organization company and here create an account description for 
you can put the account name and because i already have account selected as an object i have that available here account dot account name you can also add additional information like use information from related cases and opportunities and then what you can do is go to again your account and go to if you scroll all the way down you will see that you now can also use the related records so because the cases are related to accounts i'm just going to say cases and and opportunities so i'm going to go back to account and if i keep scrolling down i will see opportunities here as well there are some limitations to be aware of um, if you are using something like this the user the page must have these related lists and there is also a limitation of something around 20 i believe related list if there is more related list than that it will not show up so please read about the limitations but this is pretty cool that you can just do that um, another thing that you will notice here is the rec record snapshot if you wanted it to just look at all the record all the fields on the account you can just use that so instead of the name let's go ahead and use that here because i want to see create account description for that account snapshot and i'm giving it all this data so what i hope that it will do is take all that information and create a summary for me in less than 500 characters okay save that and right here you can also choose the model you can use 3.5 let's use 4 now save this and then the idea is to test with different models and see which one gives you the best result have an enterprises let's do that preview all right so let's look at the resolution resolution is where you get to see what are the data that is passing so create an account description for you can see it took all of those things from the page layout so about the record snapshot it will only take all the fields that is available in the page layout of the user who is running this um so i'm seeing all these values great and if i keep scrolling scroll all the way down and then you should see other record related records these are all the opportunities that i have name and value um you should also obviously have the related list columns defined so all of those data points are used and it's telling me that okay um i have both new and add-on business opportunities recent interaction include resolving inquiries that's probably related to the case and so on so in few lines, it is telling me everything about the Heaven Enterprise. So let's say if I have a meeting coming up with somebody from that company, I have very good information without having to dig through all the records in the system. Pretty cool. Now let's activate this and see how you can actually use it. Edit the page. So one thing to note is your page should have a dynamic page for this. I'm going to upgrade this to dynamic and then i'm going to make sure that my description field is here which is right here so once i click on that description field you see a new option here einstein generative ai prompt template and then i can say this is my prompt template that i just created draft account description and so that appears here and that's pretty much it and then i can save it and let's go back okay now i'm here on the account description now you see there's a little something like a wand I can click on that so it's analyzing the request and then it will come up with some information and then as the user i can decide i want to use this or not but i'm just gonna go ahead and say use and that brings everything here i can then edit it if i want if i don't like something i can remove it and then save it and so your account description is now saved and updated by this gen ai so that's the field generation I think this is one of the easiest one to try out and the good thing is that it does have a human in the loop so you can be sure what you're generating actually makes sense all right next let's look at sales email template click on new prompt template and use sales email and i'm gonna say send a prospect email and you can add a description the related object you can leave it empty if you wanted to include data from related objects so let's say if you're sending an email to a contact and you wanted to include certain things from the opportunity or some other object you can use the related object i'm going to hit next and i will use an example that is available in the help document just to stay consistent with my instructions your name is so and so you can also add 
your sender name here I'll try to find my name really quickly i can never find things when i'm sharing or recording um you can add your company's name here prospect name that's going to be the recipient and since i have selected recipient as the contact these are all the contact things um, i can include the full name or the first name and um, here we have generate a subject line that can increase open rate using words and contact that is related to the email body content and it is giving you instructions on how to make sure the email is clear concise straightforward and don't use filler words basically stay to the point and then you can also add information about event that's happening in this example in the help document just to share you can also add flows here uh, so if you had other flows basically let's say you have a flow that can query the events and just bring up that information right here you can definitely do that in this scenario i don't have a flow created so i'm going to remove that instead of that i'm just going to say use information in real project don't do this you want to make sure you know what you're using so that the prompt is not confused here i'm just going to say recipient and use the account look up because i'm on a contact so let's try it out post and then preview join us at the exclusive product event which makes sense so it, this is kind of given that it's not totally accurate because remember we had a flow but i don't have an event so it's basically just putting something here which may or may not make sense for this scenario it is all very related to the event because that's what i was asking it to do and if i had the event uh, flow it would show me all the details pulling from that event the fact that you can use flows and make it more exclusive to that person to that customer you can really do a lot of cool things with this make it a more general email now that i have updated and basically i'm saying i want this prospect to know how they can help their sustainability goals because i just changed the prompt to do that use a casual tone let's see how that changes the messaging and i can see it did make some small tweaks as you can see this is something that a sales rep could potentially just use without having to type everything let's go to a contact where i want to try using send email capability i'm gonna just say email here and this and i can say draft with einstein use a pre-made instruction so now that i just created the send a prospect email i'm seeing that appear under the custom and a custom email and so it is now analyzing my request all right awesome and it also populated the subject i can obviously tweak it as needed and send it as easy as that that was email template all right next let's talk about uh, the flex template so as i already mentioned flex template can be used for scenarios where field generation and emails do not make sense for example you don't want your users to always go in and save the field generation you want something automated so to keep it simple for this example what we're going to do is what we just created we just did account description but we used a field summary for that right what we're going to do is use maybe the same prompt so i'm going to just copy this just to show you the difference what that looks like i'm going to go and create a new prompt template and choose flex account summary and for object i'm going to say account account here hit next and i'm just going to paste i'm going to keep everything pretty much the same let me make sure it lets me save it okay let me save it i'm going to use the gpt4 turbo and if you had chosen multiple objects you'd have to choose multiple objects here before you can preview it okay so it generated a response great but you might be wondering okay so what's the difference right what i'm going to now do is go to setup create a flow very quick and easy flow so the flow is basically just going to be a simple record triggered flow and i'm just gonna run it on account you could also have other scenarios like you know you may want to update the account summary when an opportunity is closed one for example or any other requirements you might have for this one i'm just going to keep it simple and every time an account is updated and for my action you can now choose an action and let's search for that summary prompt that we just created so if you keep scrolling down you will see i've got some other prompt as well we have context summary deal summary lead summary all of the existing prompts are available here so you can fire the flex from here um but i'm trying to find the one that i just created did i activate that Actually, i did not activate it so let's activate that 
account summary description so that is what i just created i'm going to select that update account so for this it's going to be very simple just use the triggering record triggering account that's pretty much it and then you can in the later you can then use that output of this prompt to then update some field in the account you can do that or i can manually assign a variable right here update the triggering record all right so for updating i just quickly created a field called ai summary it's a long text field and i'm just going to use the output of that account summary prompt response save that and let's do a quick debug all right so if i go here i can see that it will update the summary with this data i can activate this and do the same thing and just edit something save ai summary generated for me right here i didn't have to populate it manually it just got generated for me so i can use the same concept and create an email summary flex um, template that i can then use and call by a flow um, let me know if you have any questions and if you're enjoying this prompt builder video so far.